The fine folks at Orblon dared me to torture test their 6-inch brushless 20-volt mini chainsaw, so we'll see how many cuts we can get on a single charge, with three different batteries. Many saws look the same, but the Orblon chainsaw stands out with DeWalt battery compatibility. Could this be the ultimate pruning saw? Stick around to find out, but first let's have a look at what comes in the package. So as you probably know, I didn't pay for this saw. Orblon sent it to me in exchange for an honest review video. I'll include this saw in my Amazon store, which visiting before you make any Amazon purchase would be greatly appreciated because I earn small commissions from any sale, even stuff not mentioned in the videos. Anyway, you know that I'm a sucker for a nice carrying case, and Orblon delivered on this. Everything seems to fit well, and it's all in one spot when you need to use it. Inside, there's a user manual with big print in American English. There's a wall charger that plugs into the battery, which I'll explain shortly. There's a small accessory pack with a sharpening file, a tiny brush to remove foreign particles, a tiny bottle of lightweight bar oil, which I don't often see included with these saws, there's a spare chain, and a convenient pouring spout with a protective cap so the oil doesn't leak out in your pocket, which is a good thing. Finally, here's the saw itself. My knee-jerk reaction is that I really like the white color scheme with the red bar. I also like that the saw is plumbed for bar and chain lubrication. Although Orblon states automatic, this saw requires you to use a primer bulb to lube the chain. But this may be a good thing, because automatic oilers sometimes have a tendency to leak. The scabbard is also a nice detail that you don't see a lot on these saws. There's a pair of clear safety goggles, which I'll have the lovely Gertrude model them for us. Functional, yet very stylish. They definitely make Gertrude look stately and smart. And she is smart because she's wearing her PPE. And finally, this is the battery, which is unique in a couple of ways. 3 amp hour is a larger capacity than most of the batteries included with these pruning saws. But what sets this saw apart from most of the competition is that it is DeWalt compatible. So you can use higher amp hour DeWalt batteries with this saw, but also you can use this battery in your DeWalt stuff. So it's a win-win. And that's all that's in the carrying case. But while we're talking batteries, let's top off the charge on the included battery because we have a torture test coming up. The charger is not of the docking type, but if docking is your thing, <laughs> you can charge this battery in your DeWalt charger. Pretty cool. Nonetheless, the included charger plugs into the battery and has a red LED that turns green when the battery is fully charged. I have mixed feelings about the safety button on the Orablon chainsaw. It doesn't automatically default to the safe mode, meaning that you can toggle the switch to safety off, and if something hits the switch, the saw will run. So beware when making adjustments and remove the battery to be double extra safe. The Orblon saw is designed to make tool-free and automatic chain tensioning. Okay, so here's how the automatic chain tensioning works. If you, like, carefully pulling back, see how the, the bar's kind of spring-loaded. Pretty neat. But with the cover on, when you get this thing kind of tight, chain feels pretty good right there but when you pull it it'll, it'll actually like it's almost like they need to make a better lock because watch when I when I loosen this it, it will it will pull itself back in just kind of you got you might have to wiggle it if it's out that far but it's pretty neat I just I don't know if, if I tightened it more I'm worried about breaking something see it'll still pull out I don't know. It's kind of a neat feature. It's just, in my opinion, they need to put some kind of a rubber grommet in there or something to keep that bar from slipping back. I think it might be, I mean, the bar's kind of got a slick coating on it, which is good. It's just this lock needs to be better. The total usable bar length is five and three quarter inches according to my enchilada. Without oil, the total weight of the Orblon six inch chainsaw with the scabbard and battery is three pounds, 10 ounces. I'm going to fill up the bar oil reservoir, which took roughly half of the included bottle of oil. The tapered spot makes it easy to fill without spilling a drop. So let's get on with this torture test that we've been talking about. I brought some black cherry testing logs from another location. These logs are from trees that have been cut down just a couple weeks ago, so I will call them green. 
I don't own any saw bucks, so to hold these logs for the test, I will have to improvise with this electrician's tripod vise. And since the logs don't fit in the vise, I'll have to improvise with a short length of chain and a chain binder to secure the log. Tell you what. So I want to get a look at how good this oil pump works. So you have to activate it by your thumb. And we should see oil coming out the bottom end of this hose here. And we do. Now I don't know if it's actually lubing the chain or not. So I got this piece of scrap MDF here and um, I'm going to try running it. Oh yeah, it put some oil down. A little too much really, but uh, so just occasionally just to hit that with your thumb, maybe every 10 cuts should probably be good. All right, so this is a sudden death match. We got a three amp hour battery. I'm just gonna cut wafer after wafer on this four inch thick material until we run out of battery. And when the saw suddenly dies, we're done. Here we go. at 43. It's getting weak. A little more. Come on, you can get 55. <laughs> There's 55 and it actually stalled right on the piece. But not too bad, 55. The Orblon 20 volt chainsaw made 55 cuts on its included 3 amp hour battery, which in my opinion is no joke. The saw showed no signs of overheating like you will see in a lot of these saws. And now I'll get a fresh new log and set up for test number 2 on the DeWalt battery. Here's another feature about the Orblon saw that is pretty cool. It and the DeWalt batteries are actually interchangeable. So check it out. And I got a four amp hour DeWalt battery and I'm gonna see how many cuts we can get out of a four hour DeWalt battery on the Orblon saw. All right, let's make some sawdust. You hear that thing humming? Hold on, I'm gonna grab a light. This isn't really the right light. Better hard light than no light, is what I always say. I'm old. Come on, 59. Okay, we got 59. We barely squeezed 59 out. This is not bad considering that this battery has seen a lot of use and many charges. It's now the following day and I wish that I would have done the other test in this light. But hindsight's always 20, 20 I felt that the performance of the 3 and 4 amp hour batteries was pretty good, but I couldn't help but think to myself, how many cuts would this saw make with the DeWalt 10 amp hour battery? I think we need to try it. So we're all set up here. I'm gonna get the butt end of this log measured. We're right around four inches, a little under four on this one. Most importantly, we got the 10 amp hour battery in our saw. Here we go. We got, we got that one down pretty low. Let me grab another piece of wood. I think we're done. There's still a green bar, but something's gonna give here. Either the saw is gonna burn up or the battery's gonna go. I don't even, I can't even, I lost count after 100. I will give you the exact number though when I figure this all out. And I lost count after making some tensioning adjustments, but the saw cut and cut and cut. I picked up all of the wafers and amazingly, the Orblon chainsaw made 160 cuts with the DeWalt 10 amp hour battery, which actually blew my mind. Very impressive. My final thoughts on the Orblon 20 volt DeWalt compatible chainsaw are as follows. 
The case is great because it holds everything in one spot for easy transport. The tool-free bar removal and automatic chain tensioning is nice. However, the chain seems to come loose pretty often. I believe that this could be fixed by making something grippier on the clamping mechanism. The DeWalt compatibility is probably my favorite feature because it's another battery in the arsenal and you can use super high amp hour batteries to get the job done. And speaking of jobs, the amount of cuts on all batteries tested was more than adequate in my opinion. The saw is aesthetically pleasing with the red and white color scheme. The safety in my opinion should definitely be changed. While I personally don't mind it being ready to grab and go, it just seems too easy for the saw to be accidentally turned on. As powerful as this thing is, it could really mess you up in a split second, so please be very careful. All kidding aside, I thought that the Orblon 20 volt chainsaw performed remarkably well and this is one of the best saws I have reviewed thus far. It's a very nice saw for the money and if you already own DeWalt stuff, they offer this saw in a tool only version which saves you even more. I'll include both versions in my Amazon store and put the link in the description. I want to thank Orblon for sending me this saw and helping make this video happen. If you enjoyed this video, could you please smash the thumbs up button so the video gets shared to more people and consider subscribing if you're new here. Thanks for watching this Mostly Mike Show presentation and I'll see you next time.